Hello and welcome once again to a Hornby Magazine video. Today you join us on the N-Gage layout, West Riding Power, because we have the brand new Graham Farish 769. So there seems to be, have been a bit of a lull with Engage releases as of late. Um, so much so, this is the first time that we have sat in front of this layout for this kind of video. It certainly is. Well, this, both this layout and um, the lull in Engage have, have kind of gone together. So West Riding Power has been in storage for quite some time, um, having had some nice new Engage products arrive in the office. With uh, we've seen new rolling stock items, as in brand new tool rolling stock items. We haven't seen many powered items. So it's actually really nice to be able to bring this layout back out. Um, I quite like this one with the power station on it as well. Um, I've still got a little bit more fixing to do, but we can come to that. Um, <laughs> but it's really nice to be able to run Engage trains again and showcase how they work as well. well and it's a sign of the uh, new space we've got as well. Definitely. <laughs> Three layouts in here and counting. There are, yeah. <laughs> so keep sneaking them in. <laughs> so we digress. Coming back to the 769, alongside the 319 from Backman and Graham Farish. Yes. Yeah, so it's a new model for the Graham Farish N-Gage um, range, which is Graham Farish now by, owned by Backman, uh, has been since the early 2000s. Uh, and this is the first multiple unit we've seen for a little while as well from Graham Farish uh, for N-Gage. Um, quite exciting, I think the 319s are really nice units. Uh, they've now got a whole new lease of life as bi-mode units as well. Uh, and the version we've got on the layout today is one of the Class 769 versions, which is one of the bi-mode units, which now has diesel engines on board as well. And of course, it's a current piece of rolling stock as well. It very much is, yeah. I mean, well, the, the, the original, the Class 319s were first introduced in the mid-1980s uh, when they carried Network South East livery and you could see on the uh, Templeton duties running from Bedford through to Brighton, for example. Um, and then um, in more recent times, they've changed hands, they've gone through numerous different operators. Some of the ended up operating with Northern uh, as electric units still. Uh, but this batch has also then been rebuilt and modified to become the, the bi-mode unit. So like I say, very much right on point for the modern day. Um, Quite interesting, the, the 769 seems to have quite a strong following in, there, in Wales as well. Uh, they're operating out of Cardiff Central, um, and they seem to be well followed by enthusiasts down there as well. Oddly, and of course I uh, went to see them in uh, North Allerton back in 2019, yes. where they had both the 319s and the 769s, which were new at the time, yeah. um, all lovely and branded up in the Northern livery. That's right, because yeah, well, I think the first demonstrator was completed in 2018, which was actually tested on the Great Central Railway uh, from Loughborough to Leicester, uh, and then that, that was one of the Northern units. Uh, and yeah, like you say, Northern's got them in service. Um, and there's also Great Western is trialling um, a batch of um, 769 units as well. Uh, there's a bit of a question mark over whether they're going to be suitable or not in the end, but they're working on them at the moment. So. so coming back to the model, is it something to be looking forward to, feature rich, etc., or is it an excuse because it's engaged not to have features? Oh, it's definitely got lots of features in this. I think uh, this is, this is uh, shows how far engage has, has kept climbing through the ladder. Uh, so. 15, 20 years ago, Engage was very much, you know, we, we, we've got a basic mechanism, we've got a basic body shell, there wasn't a lot of detail, performance wasn't always very good either, um, prone to failures and all that kind of stuff, and long-term Engage models will remember that all too well. And modern Engage is very much not like that. So modern Engage is just like someone got a shrink ray on one of the modern double O gauge models and made it Engage instead. Um, sadly, it's not that simple, but you know, it'd be nice if it was. Um, but this has now got features we'd expect from a double O gauge model as well. So it's got directional lighting on it, it's got um, cab lighting, it's got saloon lighting on it as well. Um, it's also got an X18 decoder socket in it. Uh, it's got a single decoder that powers the whole train as well, which I think is a really positive step for this type of multiple unit as well. It's got power couplings between coaches, it's got working BSI style couplers on it, uh, and it's also got space for a speaker in it as well. So all those things you're starting to expect from, well, starting to expect, expecting from double O gauge are translating into N gauge. I mean, obviously there's some variation there because this is a much smaller model than what you get in double O gauge, but definitely a feature rich model. It does surprise me how much they've managed to cram into this model. And I particularly like the uh, coach lighting. Yes, yeah, it's really nice to have interior lighting on the N gauge models. Um, I think the other thing that's really important about these as well is just how well they run. Um, you know, we're, we're not now getting those kind of will it, won't it kind of run type models, we're getting really seamlessly running, smooth running models from Engage as well. And it sounds very nice going over the uh, the joins and the rails as well. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it will be on this layer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, the burning questions at home, price and availability. 
Right, so price, this is at £349.95, which is, is probably in the considered purchase category at this point. But I think whilst it may be considered a premium price, I think you are also getting a premium model for it as well, certainly in terms of Engage products. Uh, and availability, they are available now, and with your choice of both 319 electric units and the Class 769 bi-mode versions as well. And then, of course, the burning, burning question for people at home, will we see it in double O? Well, that is a very good question. That's a question I can't answer, I'm afraid, because I don't know. <laughs> and Traditionally, what would Batman do if they released something in N or in double O? Would they then release it in the opposite scale? Uh, a few years ago, I'd be able to answer that very clearly and say, yes, that was basically was their plan at one time. Um, I don't think it's quite so clear cut at this point. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what Batman can tell us when they come to their next announcements. Ooh, so watch this space. Yeah, who knows? And by the way, I don't know. You know just, just to put that out there, I'm not kind of setting the people up for this. Before the lawyers get involved. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice, though. I would, like would. A, I would like a 319 double O gauge in Network South East Livery to run the West Coast Main Line because they did a bit of traffic there as well. So. <laughs> and of course, for Engage modelers who are lucky enough to be able to uh, potentially add this to their collection, where can they read the full review? Okay, so the full review is available to read in our August 2022 issue. That's issue 182 of Hornby Magazine, which is available from newsagents nationwide and grocery stores, uh, and also from shop.keypolition.com. Alternatively, if you're one of our digital subscribers, you can read it online at keymodelworld.com through the link in the description here. Well, I think that brings us nicely to the end of another video. So thank you very much for watching as ever. Do let us know down in the comments what you think to this latest Engage edition. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.